No spoilers, of course, we can avoid it. Uh, Em and I went to go see John Wick in IMAX yesterday. Mmm. Woo! I'm disappointed that you did not go see Avatar in IMAX. Oh, that unfortunately just wasn't in the cards for us at at that time. Oh my god, how did you not do that? I gotta, be on, I gotta be honest. I gotta be experienced than John Wick. I gotta be <laughs> it, honest, though. It might. It might very. Experience. It might very. It might very well have been. But I gotta keep it a hundred, bro. Well, I gotta. I just gotta be real. I know it's gonna be experience. I, if I, if I put in a little bit of effort, I might, maybe, be able to care slightly less about Avatar than I do off-brand potato chips. If I fucking made an effort, I might be able to try. Maybe. I know it's going to be an audio-visual fucking whatever, James Cameron Fest, but if I tried, I don't know if I can care much less. I mean, I, I put in some effort. John Wick, however, no effort required. That shit is greased up and ready to fucking go. My body is ready. And it was just unfortunate as well with Avatar that Em and I just literally at the time couldn't get in to the theater but we did get in to see john wick 4 and uh fuck me that's a movie that's an action movie i honestly think i left that theater for a pure action movie that's probably my favorite action movie i've ever seen it's up there it is it is if if you took so john wick one for the world building, which is obviously required because John Wick 1, we knew nothing about anything in the world, and so you require world building. By the time you got to 4, you and I were both hoping for a little bit more, but you know what I didn't fucking care about when I left that theater? World building. I was perfectly happy with whatever they gave us in there because everything else was so fucking good, I didn't care. Dude, the first 20 minutes of that movie... I just about shit myself. It was so perfect. The first 20 see, I minutes. Like, I see, I didn't like the first. I didn't like the whole desert scene. I didn't like it. Oh, that scene. Okay, well, the lead up to that. Okay, so that that part, I, that didn't get I, me I, I just, super like, it excited. It was so lackluster. Like, let, me, get, let me. But after, but I think I know what you're talking yes. about. Like, so uh, Lawrence you know, Fishburne that, has yes, his speech, yeah. Yeah. walks down the hall, has the, gives that big monologue which was great. Lawrence delivered that shit fire. And then the proceeding. Yes. Okay. Yes. Or the, the proceeding yes. after that, the, that initial, I think the only reason that was there is because it was necessary to set up. I understand everything Lawrence. else. I get it. I get it. But I was just like, eh. when it first started, I was like, eh, okay, sure. I mean, it was beautiful, but it was like, uh, he's actually missing shots right now. This is weird. I I'm not a fan of whatever this is. It's doing nothing for me. And then the monologue happened, which I'll be honest, when the monologue was happening, I was like, uh, even then I was still like, uh, are they going a little bit too over the top here? What's going on? Like, I was like, uh, what's going on? Then it, then it kind of eased its way. I would say like the, the first five, seven minutes of the movie was lackluster. And then after that, I'm in. I I, but the speech, the, the speech, the monologue, I should say, the, uh, I, all I could say about the film is that even in, in the spots that I could say, you might be able to say like, are, are like the low points of the film were better than the high points of most action films that I've seen in like a million fucking years. So they're like, I, I, the the cinematography, the fucking lighting, whoever did lighting in this film uh, it was it was needs to be blown movie. or whatever the what whoever man or woman fuck them right up with money and and a love and everything in between, because it was insanely well done, unbelievable. The framing of shots in this film, oh, the music, yeah, the music oh! was good. it was good, man. The movie was good. It was everything good. was so fucking good. Yeah, it was good. It was it was definitely over the top. Like, uh, you know, there were there were definitely there were definitely moments where I was like, "Holy fuck!" Like, uh, it and it was like, um, and dude, I went in with high expectations because 
before the movie, before the movie, like the reviews came out, I was kind of going in, going, "Oh God, fucking almost three hour John Wick movie." I wasn't a massive fan of the third one. I liked it, but it was like it was. No, we were oh, on the same page with the third one. Downhill. It's like, oh, yeah. we could we could be seeing the end of this now. We could, you know, but oh shit, they, they pulled up. Oh yeah, they were just like, <laughs> oh, whatever the third was, this ain't it. And they like even the choreography in this was so much better. They it wasn't like this weird shit where like they were preparing for the next. Like it was yeah. so obvious where I, you know it just looked like I was watching choreography um, on a set. This movie, I I honestly can't recall a time where I was like that was kind of. You didn't, didn't see them well. setting themselves yeah. up. Yeah. It was it was much it was much more. You know there were there were parts where. I could tell, you know, like something wasn't hitting, you know, like uh, where I was like, okay, they could have used maybe a little bit movie magic, but like they, they, the, the, the shots were so long at some, at some parts that like you can let it slide where you're like, okay, it's whatever. But it was just so crazy. The movie was nuts. It was like an action scene to some people. It might have been too much where it was like scenes were going on, like fight scenes were going on for 15, 20 minutes, like just straight up. You thought it end and it just keeps going. And it just I don't know. It worked. It, it never felt still, repetitive. I was getting no, worried. I was like, I was like, am I going to be seeing the same moves like 58 times in this film? Yeah, no, because they they did a good job at. um Almost like different scenes, they used almost different weapons. It was like, you know, there was a nunchuck big scene, there was sword big scene, there was the gung fu shit that you would see. There were there were there was car oh my god. There there that last like forty five minutes of the movie, like uh when they're in Paris, like the last like thirty, forty five minutes. It's just <laughs> fucking nuts, bro. It was just nuts. The, the do, doing the donuts and just fucking murking people. I was like, oh, oh, oh. And it's like, how have I? And and the doors are getting. I don't even care. They're not really spoilers, <laughs> but like at the same time, I don't really care. Doors are getting ripped off, and I'm going, oh, I can see where this is going. And the door ripped off. Next thing you know, a dude's just fucking killing motherfuckers left, right, and center. You know, uh, the 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 stairs. That part. It kind of got a little stupid towards the very, very end. Well, I, I was think, like, okay. I think that was them being self-aware because people memed about John Wick 2 and like the stairs scene in John Wick 2. So uh, I think there bro, was a little bit of self-aware. They took that shit to a whole other. <laughs> you see my tweet? You see level, my fucking bro. tweet about the like my, my my GIF review for John yeah. Wick and it's the Ace Ventura <laughs> Slinky? slinky. Yeah. <laughs> that whole fucking thing right there was wild. <laughs> Um, you know, that, uh, the, by the way, the, the, the stunt, the stunt guy in about four or five scenes that went down the stick, they're not getting paid enough. Whatever that is, it's not enough yeah. money. No, it's you just need a 10x, whatever that is. Cause that dude, <laughs> and you know, they didn't do it on one take. So like that dude is just rolling all fucking day, all night long. So, but yeah, the overall, overall, I, I thought, I thought it was great. Um, I, I really went in with very high expectations after seeing the reviews critically and audience. And I was like, man, this is just not going to be as good as what I want it to be. And I'm not going to go and say it's it exceeded my expectations. It did in some places, but it most certainly fulfilled my expectations. 100%. It wasn't anything groundbreaking. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a new John Wick movie where they introduced something new that like really took it to another level. What about the drones? The drone shot scene was fucking insane, bro. Oh yeah, oh that was my favorite. <laughs> I think that was my favorite scene in the movie. And Dude, it, it I was like watching it. the, th the theater going, "How long are they going to do this? Because this is not an easy shot to do. So how long is this going to happen?" I don't even and think it was a drone. I think it was just like they had crane, uh, a crane, and they were just craning over. But like it was, uh, and they did use some drone scenes in, in the yes. movie. But yeah, this was definitely a crane. There's no way it was a fucking drone. But <laughs> it was, it was, it, it felt like a video game. It felt like well, XCOM. they did Hotline Miami. It was X. It was XCOM. It was pretty much like watching XCOM, it, where, where you got this overview and it was like a strategic type thing, and and 
you just go from one room to another, and they use that what what the gun called like dragon fire or some. Oh fucking well, it's shit it's rounds. They're real life rounds. Oh, the rounds. They're shot, yeah, yes. they're shotgun shells that are called dragon's breath. And I, and dragon's I said to M, I said to M after I was like, how did they not use dragon's breath in any John Wick film up to this point? All they, it just all makes sense. And then in this, they were like, all right, so we haven't yet. How about we just use them a lot? Yeah, and, and they it was that, that whole sequence, and it was a long sequence, and it was a oh one cut God. sequence. Yes, and it was just like, how are these guys doing this shit? <laughs> Honestly, for me, that was the climax of the movie. Like the actual climax was like, eh, okay, whatever. That right there, and which that was the part that I was the most disappointed in was the actual. The fact that, it, you know, and I don't really want to spoil too much. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to spoil the well, We're not going to talk that specifically I'm about the climax. Yeah. But the duel, I thought that the duel was going to be a little bit different. I thought that the preparation for the duel was really nice when they were flipping the... the, the that was kind of dope. I like conceptually. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, like that was cool. It's cool little world building story type thing. That was cool. But I did find the actual conclusion of the film to be lackluster considering all of the shit that we got. But I understand how do you even go? Well, that's what I was going to say. That? Look, you know, you, you almost need to bring it down to, to, yes. to, to you need to you know, bring to the try, audience back yeah. down to fucking earth because they're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I, I, that whole thing. But, but overall, man, I, I thought it was great. Um, I, I, I thought Keanu had less to do in this movie, which was weird. Um, well, Donnie Yen took a little bit off of his did. shoulders. Yeah. He took a lot. I feel like he took a lot, and I like Donnie Yen's uh, character. Yeah, I just I I the, he already played a blind dude in Star Wars, right? Like he played yes. the the well. The that's blind your first guy. thought in in that and, is is yeah, that yeah? And it was like, and the thing, the crazy thing about it was, is I got spoiled on that. I didn't actually know oh, the character really? was blind before I went in, or just before I went into the movie. I was watching a review and they said in the review that he was oh. blind. I was like, fuck. I was like, I didn't really want to know that because then I went in there just thinking of Star Wars and I was like, why is why do they have this motherfucker playing a blind character? And it worked. It worked. They did some really fun. cool stuff with with him being blind though. Like they he got did, real but creative. They only did it, but they only did it for like that one be that one uh opening. I know which I know which one you're talking about, yeah. Where I was like, whoa, okay, this is fucking cool as shit. The stuff that he was doing because he was blind, obviously, he he's got to he's got to use his other senses. He's got to do different things, and I thought that was amazing. And then they just stopped for the whole movie. There was nothing. He didn't do any of that shit. And like, like oddly, a few times he'd like kind of kind of pat around to see, you know, with his fucking his sword, uh, he'd feel around to see what was going on. And I I really enjoyed. What I thought would have been better for his character, I felt like he was in it too much. And it almost took away from John Wick. It almost became like two characters' movies, which I'm okay with. But the fact that he was blind and it became so unrealistic that like these... And we got to remember, the people that are going after John Wick, they're not regular street dudes, right? These yeah, guys yeah, are yeah, all yeah. assassins. You know, yeah, they might have some street dudes mixed in there, like some goons. But, like, the, the people that are going after these, the most killer assassins that there are. And you've got a blind guy who is in a fight with, like, 50 other dudes. And he's not being killed at all. Somebody could shoot this guy in the head at well, any time. I, well, you could say that about over. any scene because every scene, there are, like, but a million opportunities. At least with John Wick. It, he did a lot of this stuff in this movie, which I appreciated, where he was using his suit to, like, yeah. you know, block his head. This but, motherfucker doesn't do that at all. He's just there, and he's... It was, like, it was over the top. I think it would have been better to have him in a couple of very cool fight scenes where it's more intimate, where there's only a couple of people, a few, in, or even a bunch, but he gets to use his other senses. He was out in the open... With straight killers, and he was not getting hurt at all. And I'm like, man, John Wick can get away with it, but how is this motherfucker? Even when John Wick is fighting him, I'm like, dude, John Wick could have. And I understand they have a friendship, so like he doesn't really want to kill him, and he doesn't like. I get that, but what about everybody else? That part was like, 
Less, I think less Donnie Yen would have done more for me, yeah. for the character. Or have him as much, but don't put him outside with 50 assassins that don't miss shots. I don't know. That part uh, was a little dumb for me. I, uh, yeah, no, I get, where, I get where you're coming from. I mean, there, there are a lot of stuff after John Wick 2, and even in John Wick 2 to a degree, but you pr more John, John Wick 3. They took, they took the suspension of disbelief for the character of John Wick and, and like the world that, that we were watching. Like we all knew that there was a, a, you know, obviously like anything, the, you know, the, this is not real life one-to-one. -one. Of course. We see John get shot off the roof of a fucking building, hit literally every steel rail on the way down and fucking face plant in the concrete after, after the, uh, after the head of the hotel fucking shoots him. And he gets back up and he's fucking, he's, he's, he's okay. Uh, you know, uh, so like we know, we know there's already like some suspension, disbelief. Three notched it up a bit. Four said, uh, we should just fucking forget about most of it. Four, uh, like, four was teetering fast and the furious levels of yes. what the fuck. It, yes. it, and, and it wasn't, it wasn't as bad. It was nowhere near no. as bad, but I get what you're saying. I, I, like, I, I, yeah, I, I think like, with Donnie Yen, I want to have this. I, I want to say that there's a non-zero chance that Donnie Yen was like, "Yeah, I'll do it," but I want my guy to be basically on level with John. Like, I feel like Donnie was like, yeah, "I'll do this movie," because Donnie Yen as a kung fu guy is like the fucking guy, yeah, right? Yeah, I he get is it. the I guy. Get it. I so get I feel it. like he may he might have been like, "All right, I'll do it," but I've got to be they basically. Wrote, they could have wrote his scenes uh, like if they wrote his scenes the way they wrote his first scene, where yes. he was using. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil any of it, but where he yeah. was using tools and things to to kill his enemies, like that whole the whole build up for him was amazing. You meet the character, you understand his motives and why he's doing shit. It's very similar to John Wick. And then, you know, and then he's, you know, that's the thing he's where he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, people are dying all around. He's eating food and shit. Like, it was so cool. And then he goes and does the stuff that he does for that scene. It's amazing. But then from there on out, it was just like. Like, John's getting his ass fucking, like, he's he's winning, but yeah. he's he's taking damage to get to the end point. Yeah. Donnie's out there fucking bitches up, ain't taking a lick no, uh, no, of damage. He is and, fucking everybody and when you out. and when you learn more about his character, you're like, this is how good he is now. What the fuck was he like? Were he and John like when they were younger and yeah. friend? Like how how crazy were they back then? This is what we got now. What the fuck was yeah. going on back then? And so yeah, yeah I, I get what you're saying. I didn't when I was watching it, that didn't fucking pass through my mind. It I didn't. Was, it didn't. It didn't. I was for watching me. Johnny N just like yeah. fucking like do some yeah, crazy too. shit. And I he's was. so crisp, bro. Like, I know. E like everyone else, like Scott Atkinson's in this movie. He's probably the best white dude that's doing kung fu shit for years. He's crazy good. But you get Donnie Yen on fucking camera, and yeah. that yeah. dude is he a was different. Keanu Reeves and look like he, well, you know, you know. And it's hard to expect a 58 year old. And I know Donnie's also old, but he's been doing literal god tier yeah. martial artists since he was like a kid, compared yeah. to the Keanu who was like, I know kung fu in 19. 99 doing fucking like shitty kung fu in the in the matrix like up to now like a different animal entirely but how crisp and fucking fast this motherfucker is he oh, looks it's, so it's, good it's on good. camera it's good yeah and 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 what i really liked about his character the most is he brought a lot of the acting to the to to it which yes. i was surprised by because keanu reeves can't act a fucking lick i don't nobody nobody can tell me any different he's thankfully not he doesn't actor. need to and he does and, and he has like 20 lines in the fucking movie and yeah. the movie's fucking three, three hours, hours long. long yeah he literally has and a lot of them are like yeah uh, guns yeah lots of guns like that's pretty much <laughs> it like uh, kill them all <sighs> I can, like, which i got i gotta be honest i kind of like uh, I, I, can't, I can't lie i like it I mean, gets, it's whatever it's, it's whatever, whatever for me it's whatever. I don't. I'm not, and I'm not hating on the movie. By the way, like I, it's a nine out of ten for me. The it's the, it might be my favorite John Wick movie that there is. Uh, it's close between one and four. And I might actually put this. I actually think I have to put this ahead, just simply because the story it's, is the, the, the only. They do. That's the only downside of it. But at, at the same time, 
Like, they do wrap up a lot of the storylines that they had from the previous movies. They did it way better of, than three. Like, oh, way infinitely better. better. Yeah. I think, I mean, now we know that there that there's another John Wick project that are, that is coming out led by a female. It's called Ballerina. like the Ballerinas or something yeah. like that. Uh, that's actually are, being released this year. Like, that's coming yeah. out. Yeah. Um, and then now th there's, there's also talk about uh, Donnie Yen potentially getting um, a spinoff um as give me well. that so um and i don't know if it's going to be an origin story where we actually see where he has his eyes because you know um they do mention he mentions it very briefly but yes they, he doesn't go into exactly how he uh, lost dude if you're eyes. paying attention to this film they've got like four different outs for different movies whether they're sequels prequels fucking spinoffs whatever i yeah. uh, like all the way up through they they cover their bases for every eventuality and so you you can be you can be ready yeah uh uh for almost anything at this point and and expect anything because it's going to be based on how much money this bitch makes uh and well, this, but bitch you, is making, this bitch is making all the money it's like you know the what? biggest opening uh, so my question had. my question to you do you need five no i don't Neither do i i think this uh, should be just it yeah, and and the thing is, we know we know we're gonna get more. You don't end a franchise on a four, like. Uh, I know, I know, yeah, get, I know, yeah. But I don't, but I don't, I don't like. Now they've already released a statement where they're considering John considering Wick five. Five, yeah. And the thing is, I know we're gonna end up getting it. But what I hope that they do is, I hope that they go do the little spinoff stuff. Um, I don't think the ballerina shit's gonna work at all. I, I, and and listen. Say what you want, but how many times have we seen female-led action uh, movies that are spinoffs or um, some sort of whatever, and they put a female in the lead? I'm not saying there's tons of kick-ass fucking females out there that, that 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 are amazing and they do what they do. This isn't me fucking being sexist, but I'm gonna be honest. I have zero interest in watching ballerina. Uh, I I. I I like John Wick. I, 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 it's like James Bond, all right? It's not Jane Bond, right? I, I, I like that. And whenever I've seen like a female lead cast taking from an IP that was originally for a male and built off a male, it's usually dog shit. It's usually bad. And I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. But what I hope they do is I hope they get that out of their system and I hope that they take a bunch of time off and if they're going to make a five, which low key, I kind of hope they don't, but if they do, I need, we need like a five year minimal break and then they need to come back and they need to finish up. 63 year old Keanu Reeves, whatever they need to finish up. <laughs> I, I don't care. I almost hope that they don't even make a John Wick 4 and he just... You mean 5. Or 5? Yeah. And he makes an appearance in... The spinoffs or whatever? In a spinoff or whatever as, you know, maybe he's... Maybe it's in a season finale if they do a TV show or maybe it's a movie and he's in a post credit scene or at the very end or something and, you know, they, they tease him to be part of another film. I don't know. But one way or another, I don't think we need it. We just got three hour John Wick movie, and apparently there's a cut that's like four four and a half hours or something. I want shit. I want it. Release it. Just do the Blu-ray, release it on digital. We'll watch it. We'll enjoy it. Let Keanu take a break. Um, even maybe indefinitely. But I can understand when a movie makes the amount of money it's making and everybody's enjoying it. And now you're you're kind of fucking trajectorying up. It's hard to not want to make the movie. I just, I, where I, no, I, I, just, I just no. Where do they go? Because I know that you have to go Fast and the Furious route at this point to take it to it. Because they they keep topping themselves. How do you top yourself from this? It's actually impossible. It's impo I actually don't think it's possible. They've peaked. You can't go. You can't go any better. They've kind of drawn on most of the cards that they could draw on, and they put it all in this one. So It's all there. It's all there. If you're going to watch a John Wick movie, guys, go run out and go see on the biggest fucking screen with the loudest 
possible because the sound effects, the music, everything. Oh is, my god! It's almost a perfect movie. It's almost a, it's almost a perfect action movie. Yeah. It's almost like the nitpicks that I'm talking about with Donnie Yen's character and you know the the ending and and those those are nitpicks. They're all still amazing. <laughs> you know the movie is fucking incredible. I, it, it's 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 insane what they pull off from an action standpoint. I got to agree with you. It might actually be the best action movie ever put to film. Completely. There's a lot of great action movies out there, like The Raid, and and there's a bunch of like Ombok type The Protector. There's a lot of great like action movies that do a wonderful job. Tom Cruise is in, you know, he's got your Mission Impossibles, you got the James Bonds, but dude, this but is none of them come close. Big. They don't come close to this, no. bro. There, there, there's those movies, and then there's this. And the great thing about this is you've got amazing cinematography, you've got amazing soundtracks, you've got amazing characters. You've got a really cool uh, uh, universe that, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a letdown that they don't dive super deep into it, but at the same time, it's whatever. Most of the great action movies out there, they got dog shit of all of those things, but the action's great. You know, maybe it's bad acting. Maybe it's bad this, bad that. John Wick is just like, it's just good. It's, it's great. It's amazing. Like, it's nuts. The Oscars need to make an action-based Oscar for the first time, and they need to just give it to John Wick. They need to build it off of this. Yeah. Yes, I was having the same thoughts. I was When we left the theater, I was thinking to myself, I was like, look, I know the Oscars are mostly bullshit anyway, but they need, to, they, they need desperately, desperately to be able to recognize... Oh, the stunt work, the choreography, the people behind the scenes that make this... Sure, Keanu Reeves amazing, Donnie Yen's amazing, all the... But it's a collaborative effort. These There are fucking, like... It's nuts the stuff they pull off in this movie. I just, I can't believe it, what they've done. And Nobody's I, doing like any of the shit that they're doing in these, bro. People have tried several no, times yeah, to try to mimic work. John Wick ever since John Wick came out. Not one has even gotten like a tenth of the no, fucking way there. You can't do it. You can't do it. I might actually go see it again in theaters um, before it goes. It's that, it's that good. It's, it's, it's really, truly that good. I, I, I'm blown away by, by it. I... In my heart, if they were to just end it now, because they've ended it in a way that I think can appease as many people as you could hope for. Exactly. And people can have their own theories and do whatever it is that they want to do and be at peace with that. Right. It's like the ending of Inception. Yeah. It's like, you know, but it's, it's, it's such a marvel. It's it. They've accomplished such a great task on a fourth film in a franchise and the character has virtually done anything and everything. I do like the idea of them giving the spotlight to another character and moving on and letting the legend of John Wick and Keanu Reeves. This Keanu Reeves is no longer Neo. No, he he's is John, John Wick. Wick. Yes. He's John. After this movie, he is solidified that he is. He ain't Neo anymore. John Wick. And think of how crazy that is, because think of how think of think of the character of Neo oh, and how massive. and how culturally impactful the Matrix was, and then and then nobody expect like people hear about John Wick like in the whispers, and then it comes out and it doesn't yeah. even like hit hard immediately, and then it like it kind of like it takes a little bit, and then word of mouth gets out, and then just fucking rockets. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Rockets. It's never it's never going to be a billion dollar franchise. I don't want to see them do the expendables route where they're trying to bring in other action stars and old dudes that come through and make it campy and cheesy like fast and the furious. And next thing you know it, they're like going to space and shit. I mean, I they've kind of already that. did that, but they did tastefully. Yeah. Well, so like, they, it's all, but they're paying homage to yes, or homage yeah. to, to the greatest mix uh, like uh, martial artists of, of action films of all time. I'm not talking about cheesy movie stars. Like, you know, like your, your Arnold Schwarzeneggers and your Stallones and, and your, your, uh, you know, and, and I don't mean when I say cheesy, they're, those are amazing the movie two, stars. Two, two different they're, action ooh, movies. Total, 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 one is, one is Hollywood. And then one is like the real deal mixed martial arts types, the gods, the purists. It's like. And they're and they just do it so tastefully. There ain't all these crazy egos where it's like Arnold's on screen. Pay attention, you know. This is like everybody's there. 
the the stunt doublers, like or the the or not the stunt doubles, the 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 dudes, the random guys they kill. There's almost like a level of respect that that you have just seeing these guys go in and do what they do, and nobody's trying to steal the spotlight. It's just like the movie just does what the movie does, and that's what I love about it. End it. Can't walk. You've peaked. Go start another franchise somewhere or just pop in somewhere else at some point and get us all hyped. But I don't know. <sighs> Do we, it's like part of me wants number five. Part of me wants it. But the big part of me just says, no, you can't. It's, it's, like for me, I, I'd be so fine if they stopped at four. I'd yes. be so okay. Yes. I wouldn't I'd be, be so complaint. okay with it. No complaints yeah. for me whatsoever because if you're going to go out what a way to fucking go out. Insane. The best uh, way to go. If, if, they, if they did more, you know, I have to go into it thinking in a similar way as I did with 3, where I was like, man, I really love John Wick, but I'm getting concerned as to where this shit's going. I'd have the same feelings now, dip for different reasons than 3, but I'd have the same, the same you know, concerns. I'd be like, you know, I, where are they going to go? Just like with three, but for different reasons as to why I'm concerned as to where they're going to go. And so, but you know what, though? I had those thoughts with three, and now here we are with four. So maybe against all fucking odds, five pops up, and and my concerns are just... Oh, it's going to pop up, bro. This movie's making too much money, and it was too damn well received for it not to pop up. But I just hope that it's like... It's a, it's a while from now. Just let it breathe, man. Just oh, like, I'm just dude. I'm just reliving. I'm just reliving that the the first major uh, bro, fights. Just, the music. The just, music was incredible. so fucking good. It, it, and in uh, IMAX with uh, the yeah. fucking sound uh, system yeah. yes. on every gunshot and the bass yes. line of the yes. of the song. Yes. It was and the and the lighting. It's yeah. just it's it like now. I will say I do I do. You notice it. If you look for it, if you watch all of John Wick, everyone makes fun of, like, there's always the stairs. Stairs, the enemy of everyone in John Wick. And they also, they're like K-pop music videos. Oddly lit rooms with mirrors everywhere for no reason. Like, absolutely no reason to have that much lighting Just randomly there. and mirrors. But you know what? It looks fucking it, awesome. It looks so good, and bro. So it they looks put, so good. <laughs> so they put it in. Man, they, and they, and they cranked it. And they just, they, and you don't even care. You don't no, even care. and and you not care. to spoil, not to spoil it, but there is a character in this that I think stole that entire like they they had almost uh, not quite a third of the film. There was a character we hadn't seen before that uh, that John is sent after, and it's the 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 and you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, and even that character, dude, that that guy. Acted oh, the fuck out of that character. It was perfect. Yeah. The just the yeah. right amount yeah. of cheese. Well, he's a crazy he's a crazy martial artist too. He's oh like, my god, know, he's dude. Insane. He's just was, insane. And so when when I saw him at first, I was like, okay, so he's got the character acting down. I mean, this shit's fucking perfect for this like for John Wick's universe, this guy was perfect. And then the fight scene started, and I was like, word. Yeah, this well, motherfucker's he's, gonna act and drop this shit at the same time? Is that even yeah. fucking fair? Well, he's he's well known. He's super well known. He's in all kinds of what once again, they they brought in they brought in people that are ultra respected. And in fact, we heard uh I heard that um uh uh they almost got um Jackie Chan. Uh and Jackie Chan wanted to do wanted to do the movie. But they were offering him a small part, and he wanted to star basically alongside. Ironically, Keanu. Donnie Yen did exactly that, and Donnie Yen pretty much did that. Like Donnie Yen was, he was in about a good forty percent, thirty forty percent of the movie, and he had more lines and did eighty percent of the acting. <laughs> did eighty percent of the act. He had more lines than Keanu Reeves did for sure. And Keanu was the it's John Wick. Um, and thank God, Donnie Yen's a great actor. Like, uh, yeah, like he's, he's, good. He's, he was he's, good. He was good. He, he did everything he needed to. Uh, did it very well. I enjoyed it. I think he brought a lot of of uh, the 
the heartfelt drama e shit. He did very well yeah. to do that, and uh, and yeah, man. They just definitely every- they definitely <sighs> set up more John Wick to come. The question is, are we gonna get John Wick? Yeah, but they they've definitely and and it's gonna be female led. You can just tell, like you just the way that the the way that it worked. Well, they have two just, options for that, and then yes. they have well they have a John the other- they have a John option. They have another character option. Yeah. And then they have two girl options. Yeah, well, I know for sure that one of a girl that wasn't even in the movie is is starring, I guess, or has a major role in the the girl project, the the spin-off. Well, ballerina stuff. is literally a ballerina. girl leading it. So we already Correct. know that exists. You know, that but that is the other girl, girl led, yeah. that I know you're talking about. Yes, yeah. She is rumored to be part of the next thing as well. Yeah. Um, and it makes sense. Because for all, there's a dynamic between her and another character that, yes. thanks to how the movie plays out, is totally another avenue. And stay, stay in the post credit scenes because yes. there's, a, there's a, a scene after the credits that plays to that very heavily. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So there you I go. John, John Wick. Uh, I, Jeff's giving it a 9. I'm giving that bitch a 14.5 out of 10. Because I could, I agree. The the desert thing in the in the beginning, there was it was nothing to write home about. It was there specifically to serve yeah. a plot point, yeah. And that was it. Yeah. I I consider the movie starting after yes. that scene, yeah. uh, and uh, and the ending, while not bonkers, I agree as well. And uh, which you had to bring it down. And and if I sat down and tried to come up with. Other, I don't even know. I, I'm not going to come up with a better ending that's going to please enough people. I, like it's like impossible. So I think they did pretty fucking okay for what they could, and then everything in between is just pure sex. The whole fucking yeah. thing is just the is absolutely insane, uh, and uh, and definitely definitely um, it's uh, it's the best John Wick and the best action movie that I've ever seen. I think John at Wick won at least in the last decade easily. Easily, I, I can't even I can't even think of an action movie. And there's been a lot of good action movies, but this this is on another. In fact, I'm just gonna go and say it's the best action movie I think of all time. For me, it's it's John Wick four, and then you have to get out of that genre of action movie altogether because John Wick is so fucking yeah. Far oh, yeah, beyond. It's, it's so own, it's John yeah. Wick four, and then I've got to go directly to Terminator two, and then at, like below those two for action films. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know what third place is. Doesn't matter. It's yeah. John Wick four. Arguably, John Wick one, Terminator two. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like they're two totally. I almost don't even want to put it because the, there's in, in that it, they're so different. Very right? different but, subgenres of yeah, action. I mean, yeah. I, I think I think T two is a better movie, but like. Yes. For, for, for what I'm going in to watch, it doesn't really get any better than that. No. <laughs> like, it doesn't.